Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial on customizing your anime and manga list. I notice a lot of people are using the new modern list design, but did you know you can change images on it like the images for your titles and backgrounds like here? Uh, it's very easy and I'll show you how to in only a few minutes. And as you can see here, this is my default list. It has no pictures on it except my user pick on the left side, so let's start with adding images to the titles. The first thing we'll need to do is click on your username at the top of a mal page, then go to account settings, and then go to list style design. Here make sure the modern tab is highlighted and if it's not click it, and then save it with the blue button at the bottom. If you don't see this tab at all, they may have disabled this option since I've made this video so you could just ignore that. Ignore this if, it's, if that's the case. Next, go to list and make sure the style override box is not checked. And next, click image under modern only, and then click submit at the bottom. This is going to put images on your list next to the titles. Now go back to list style design, circled here, and click the list above the bubble you've chosen for anime. Look for the bubble that you shaded, and that will be the list you need to click on. As you can see here, this is the one I have, the default style, so I'm going to click it. And it's going to take you to this screen, and the top two options up here are going to let you change the images for your cover or a banner, and your wallpaper or a background, as other people call it. Uh, first thing, just click the Choose File, find the file you want for your cover or banner, we're going to use that one. Then Choose File for your wallpaper, we're going to use this one. Okay, and then go down and click the Save button. There's a lot of other options there, but you don't need to worry about those right now. And we're going to save, ba -ba -ba, waiting on it. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to load. And there we go, and now if we go back to our list and refresh the page, we have a whole new list design. It's all customized with wallpapers and everything now. But the only problem is we can't see our wallpaper behind the list anymore because it's all, you know, white like this. I do have a solution for that though. Um, if you go back to your page where you added the images before. Scroll down a bit to the Add Custom CSS down arrow, click it, and it should open a little black box. And if you don't see the black box, after you click that arrow, refresh the page and try again, and then the box should start popping up after that. Um, go down to the description in the, for the video, and if you're using a light layout, click the link next to four light layouts. And if you're using a dark layout, click the link next to four dark layouts. The links will take you to a page with a series of codes you copy and you're going to paste into the custom CSS edit box. And once you've pasted it into the box, go down, scroll down to the Save button, click the Save button, and then go back to your list, and it should be completely changed so that you can now see the wallpaper behind your list. Let's refresh, and scroll down, and there we go. Now we can see everything. And that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to post them below. And remember, you can do the same for your manga list by repeating the steps. I'll finish the video by showing myself doing just that. Thank you.